Hi you guys, it's Chrissy. I don't think I've ever done like a whole look video or anything like that. I think I've done foundation. Um, well today's the Lush Party in Anaheim at Garden Walk. So I'm going to do a, um, a quick look using the colors of their logo which is um, green and um, yellow. There's no white but they have white in their logo but I'm just going to use a few things. Today mostly I'm wearing Dollhouse. Um, I have a little Mac and I'll post the brushes and all the information in the um, sidebar. Have a good day you guys and I'll do another video when I find out, you know, when I get back from Lush and let you guys know what I got. Okay, so I had that 
second cold black liner by Mac, and I have the liquid liner with the I want to say the felt tip. It is and it's uh, liquid proof. It was cheap only maybe about four bucks by Maybelline, but it works real good. Um, so I'm gonna do the lower part, and the upper part. And what I'm gonna do is with the smaller brush I have, which is by Bare Essentials, I'm gonna go over it again with the kiwi, just kind of um brighten it up and bring it to the corner of my eyes. And I'm gonna blend it again. I have another blend brush, um, but I don't know the name, so I'm not gonna um I'm gonna kind of go drive that color outward and then bring it in again. Weird, but it works for me. Um, so now I'm gonna line the top part. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna line the top part, my um, upper the top part, my upper lash line. This part you have to kind of really take your time, and it does take practice. It's worth it though. Be careful not to open your eyes too wide if you're going to dip again, like I just did. Then I'm going to do the other side. And I'll sit all the way back in and shake it up a little bit. Line the other side. Clean it up because that one came out a little funky, but and today I'm doing a pretty thick line. Let that dry. my black liner mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna go in the, um, in the waterline I'm gonna do it on the outside but I'm gonna get pretty close so it's probably gonna give the illusion that it is in the lash line like in the actual waterline but it's not it's just a little bit safer for me to do it that way um it's, it's pretty dangerous to go inside of the lash line I mean inside of the waterline I like the look though but um just to be gentle around my eye area it's just working out easier if I just do it really close and make it seem as though it's in the waterline it's really on the outside though I've had this pencil for a while um it lasts all day I have oily eyelids and everything else and it just kind of it works it doesn't um smudge much at all I'm going to go over this part and blend it out one more time, make sure it's even. Alright, so today I'm using um, Bourgeois Paris for, I just want that huge, fake, false eyelash look, I like that. So, and this brush is kind of weird. If you can see it, it has um, like a little reservoir where the mascara just kind of sits in. So, it's just like a pool of mascara right there. So you put it on, you apply the mascara, then you flip your brush where the brushes are. Same thing with the other side. Now I don't have like super long eyelashes, a lot of people think that I do just good mascara. I'll be doing a, um, a review on a, a few other mascaras, letting you guys know which one I didn't like, because there's some that, that work really good, but since it has so many, um, so many different type of oils and waxes in the formula, it, um, it, by the end of the day, it has me all blurry, it's runny, um, like you can feel the oil like it's melted almost. So, I'm going to grab my blend brush again, and blend it again. I always take a baby wipe. I always have baby wipes near me, just in case there's any fallout I don't see. And um, I kind of clean it up and things like that. It's not a lot of primer over there, so I'm okay. Um, and let's see here. I'm going to do my foundation. I'll be right back. Okay, so my foundation's done. I'm going to use um, Marvelous. It's a dollhouse shadow. I'm sorry, blush. Um, I have a new brush, a new matte brush. It's a 165. I like it. Um, I tend to go heavy with blush. I love blush, um, but I have big cheeks. And I have to kind of be careful, and this one's tapered. So it really helps me control where I'm placing it, and I like it. I really do. It's really soft. It doesn't hold a lot of the, um, I don't know, it's a natural brush, but it doesn't hold a lot of the, um, a lot of the product in, which I really like. I like this color. I like pinks. So right now I need to I'm gonna start looking for more peaches and stuff like that. I have a few, but I still stick to my pinks. I'm gonna do the other side. Make sure it's even, which a little bit. <coughs> Just make sure everything is smooth. You don't have any lines. You can use any blush brush with this anywhere else on. It just helps me control where I'm placing and things like that a lot better. Um, today I'm going to go with, I don't even know if Maxwell sells this color anymore. It's a lacquer, and it's um, Paco Pink. So I'm going to go with this shade today. And if I'm right, it's more of a gold. I don't know why it's called Paco Pink. It has a little bit of pink, but for the most part, it's a gold. Really pretty, though. It's not real thick, even though it says lacquer. It's not real thick at all. It's a really pretty color, though.
Okay, so let me take my hair down and take a picture and show you guys the final look. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna do a video later with all the stuff I get from Lush. Um, and that's gonna be great. Um, or you know, I have a few things on my list, but I'm gonna you know I'll go through again and make sure I get you know exactly what I want, what I need. Um, so you guys are gonna see that video later. Thanks for watching. Bye.